Welcome everyone to the Dr. Abs HealthCast. I'm your host, Dr. Brian Abasolo, aka Dr. Abs. And today we have on my good buddy, Dr. Christopher Sandra, MD. He's a Beverly Hills-based vitality expert and revered anti-aging physician. Expanding upon his acclaimed anti-aging treatments and bioidentical hormone therapies, Dr. Sandra now provides a vast lineup of cosmetic procedures, hormone replacement programs, and sexual dysfunction treatments tailored to each individual patient's needs and desires. Sandra continues to precept doctors and healthcare providers from around the world, training them on the latest techniques in his own signature procedures, cultivating the next generation of industry leaders. Dr. Sandra has made many television and public appearances, as well as partaking in countless editorial interviews, educating people on the benefits of hormone replacement therapy and anti-aging medicine, most notably the hit TV show, The Doctors. I can't wait to bring Dr. Sandra on and talk about this fascinating subject of anti-aging. So let's bring on Dr. Christopher Asandra. Welcome to the HealthCast, Dr. Sandra. How are you doing today? I'm good, Brian. Good to see you, man. Good to see you too, brother. I'm happy, happy to see you. Happy to have you on because we're going to be talking about a very uh, interesting subject. It's all about anti-aging and hormones. You are a functional medicine specialist here in the Beverly Hills area. I've gotten to know you very well, and I, I consider you a friend and an absolutely amazing practitioner, and you're doing big things here in the, in the community, so I applaud you, my friend. Thank you, Brian. Thanks for having me, man. Really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Let's dive right in. Yeah. We're talking about hormone replacement therapy. Now, yeah. why is hormone replacement therapy or HRT as it's known mm -hmm. for becoming more popular in society today. And what are the benefits that you're hearing from all the patients that you're treating? Well, I think it's becoming more accepted in today's society now, and people want a better quality of life. And I think before there's a lot of stigmas about hormones, do they cause cancer? They have side effects, this and that. But I think as medicine and technology has advanced and we've kind of uh, practitioners have kind of learned more about hormones and how they affect the body and also seeing the effects of it, um, it's gained a lot of, you know, traction with, um, you know, for functional medicine doctors, but, but patients in particular, uh, because they've improved their lifestyle, they improve their quality of life, um, their sex life, their, their physicality, um, their other medical problems start getting better on top of it. So, you know, I think it's kind of become more accepted now. I think Hollywood is, you know, uh, really push the whole fitness thing and looking good and et cetera. And, you know, we always hear about plastic surgeons and, and, and I, you know, I'm a total proponent of, of cosmetics. Um, but I think, you know, delaying the aging process and fixing yourself from the inside out is also important versus just from the outside in. It doesn't last forever, you know, and, and you want to make sure that you're at your optimal health because besides the physical aspects of it, it's how, you know, the, the, the fatigue goes away, the uh, libido comes back, the body changes are positive in a way, and you start uh, losing weight or you start getting more, more muscle, you have the energy to work out again. So a lot of positive aspects to it now that, uh, and the way we do it now is very structured, very monitored, uh, very safe, if you will. So take me through like a, a protocol for a specific pay. Let's say for women out there, you know, a lot of my audience is women. So they want to know, is it safe for women to do hormone replacement therapy? And you know, cause I, I'm sure there's like a myth, like, Oh, you're messing with my hormones. I don't want to get all big or bulky or anything like that. I mean, is there like, talk to the women out there as far as why, how HRT can help them particularly. Great question. You know, we get, we're starting to get uh, patients that are younger and younger now before it was mainly a thing of women in menopause, right? Because what happens in menopause is pretty much your ovary shut down. You're not producing hormones anymore. And then the women start suffering, uh, you know, hot flashes, dryness, um, decreased intimacy, fatigue, brain fog. I oh, hear that every day, brain fog. Um, and then they're working out, et cetera, but they don't get the body changes that they, uh, that with the work that they put into it. Um, so for women, the biggest thing was we had this whole women's health initiative study that was done in the early 2000s where they were giving equine or horse derived, um, hmm. horse derived uh, hormones to oh, the wow. females orally. And so people were getting cancer, getting blood clots, getting oh, side effects of it. It was horrible. So that scared um, everybody so, off pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah. it kind of stuck around, you know, oh, there's wow. like, oh, it causes breast cancer, et cetera. 
But now we have the bioidentical hormones, meaning that not only is it the safer way to deliver them, but a, the molecule that we're putting into you is matched one for one. We're not putting in synthetic equine derived. You know, we heard about Premarin before. That was the big one that everybody used. Well, Premarin stand, stood, stands for pregnant mare's urine. Mm. Okay. So we were, they were deriving these hormones from pregnant mares or pregnant horses from their wow. urine so they can mass produce it. And it was causing all, all sorts of problems. Women felt better, but they were also getting side effects of it. Mm. And so now the way we deliver it is bioidentical. We're matching that molecule and that hormone one for one, uh, usually plant-based as well. The bioidentical hormones, that's very key. Now, what's the delivery method? Is it all via injections? Do you do it in your office? Do the women do it at home? How does that work? So there's many ways to do it. The preferable method that I use is pellet therapy. And the reason I like pellet therapy is that these, it's a constant physiological release into the body over about three to four months. Mm. And it's a simple in-office procedure, but it also helps me give a chance to catch up with my patients and see how they're doing every three to four months. Yeah. Uh, and we're checking blood work the whole time as well. So there's like these little pellets that we, we use. They're um, probably the size of a rice grain or a little bit bigger that we use for women. Uh, it's a simple, like I said, in-office procedure. We just numb them up and put them right under the skin. Most women say it's less painful than Botox even uh, or filler. And um, it lasts three months and you get that constant physiological release over time versus uh, we do some other methods too. some, some ladies can only, if I see them virtually and they're across the country, we'll do like pellet, uh, excuse me, creams on them where, but they got to apply a cream on themselves every day, you know, rub it on their arms, rub yeah. it on their thighs, et cetera, to kind of get the same physiological effects, but they kind of do this roller coaster effect. You know, they go up during the day and then they fall and they go up and then they fall yeah. versus the pellet. It's constant. It's 24 seven like extended release. Yeah. It's more mm -hmm. constant. Love that. Love that. And I mean, what are, what are some of the changes that these women are, are experiencing number one, but then I also want to ask at what age is there appropriate age? Or you mentioned that a lot of women are taking this earlier, mm -hmm. like what age, what's the youngest age, let's say that you've seen. So I had a patient yesterday, she was 30 years old mm -hmm. and had a total hysterectomy already. Wow. Okay. So they removed her ovaries because she had some endometriosis, a couple, a couple other issues going on. They removed her ovaries removed her uterus and sent her into surgical menopause. So wow. we see a lot of that these days um, or women who have postpartum depression, et cetera. Uh, those are, we're seeing it younger and younger, but the ideal or not ideal, the, I'd say the most of the women that I see are probably menopausal late forties, early fifties and beyond that as well. This is when you see the hot flashes come on. They can't sleep at night. They're sweating. Oh, I could text all the time. Doc, I'm sweating through my sheets. I'm waking up the whole bed sheets are, uh, you know, wet. I don't have a libido. My husband doesn't want to, uh, you know, he wants to be intimate. I don't want to be intimate. Um, I have fatigue when I wake up, the brain fog is there. But once we get these pellets in them and they take about four weeks to really peak, but they start feeling the effects very quickly. Energy comes back, mood comes back. We're able to get a lot of people off antidepressants uh, with this. Um, wow. They're working out again. They're motivated. The libido goes up again. Uh, and then the hot flashes just stop. And, mm -hmm. you know, as men, we probably don't know what that feels like, uh, or can relate to that, but I'm sure we yeah. know people that have gone through it. It's, it's devastating. Well, so it sounds like, I mean, you're changing so many people's lives for the better. I mean, who wouldn't want more energy and libido and just, you know, to reduce all the, you know, help, help maybe take them off medication. Now you mentioned blood work. How mm -hmm. important is the blood work? Cause I've always said that it's like, why not? see what's going on inside your body rather than just, you know, blurt out some symptoms to your doc. And then him just kind of like, guess what you, what, you, what you have going on when you do blood work, you could actually see exactly what's going on. Is that right? Absolutely. You know, I think with a lot of doctors, first of all, I, I think a lot, it's kind of a new era and a new area of medicine that uh, a lot of doctors don't know about you. That's why it's important to find a functional medicine doctor and integrative anti-aging doctor that uh, really has some experience with this uh, and has learned this. Um, and so we do monitor the blood work initially uh, while they're on the pellets. We're, I mean, we're checking blood work on ladies, you know, four or five times a year sometimes. Wow. And that's probably more than you get at your regular doctor. But the reason we do that is not only to keep them safe and their hormone levels in check, but it's also to monitor them to make sure that we're tweaking it just right, that make sure we're not going too high, not going too low. And it really, once I get them fine tuned in, you know, then, then we kind of, 
you know, that sweet spot, hitting that sweet spot on women just makes them feel phenomenal again. And talk to me about that. Like you mentioned you're, you're not too high. You're not too low. Like you're in a, a great, like the physiological levels are perfect. I mean, you're not, because a lot of people think, Oh, you know, they're taking steroids, but you're not mm-hmm. abusing these hormones at all. Like you're right. essentially, would you say it's like taking, like turning black the clock yes. from their hormones when they were in their early twenties, let's say. Yeah. It's, it's really just replacing what you've lost. You know, yeah. we have to, with menopausal women, a lot of times we have to push a little bit beyond, uh, you know, with their testosterone, you need to get a little bit more testosterone uh, just to get them to relieve of their relief of their symptoms that they're experiencing. Um, the, so that part is a little bit trickier, but you know, that's why I kind of start very conservatively and, and, and increase your doses needed. Yeah. Uh, but for men too, you know, it's, it's, everybody thinks, oh, this is steroids. It has some sort of like stigma to it, but it's really not. You're just, repli- I'm just getting you back to the way you were when you're 18 or 21 years old, when you had the energy, you had libido, you, you were, you're happier, et cetera. And so, yeah. you know, that's, it's very important to feel that way. Because, you know, I think if you go to your doctor and you're going through menopause, it's me, you know, I'm doc, I'm feeling down, I'm feeling depressed, I have no energy. What's the first thing they're going to do? You know, the doctor is probably going to write your prescription. Here's some antidepressants. Antidepressants, yep. Yep. Good luck. See you later. Yeah. Like they're just treating the symptom and not actually getting down to the, to the root cause of the problem, which I love what you do with the blood work. So what do you notice? Like, what are some markers on the blood work that you really look for, um, you know, when you, when you prescribe somebody these, uh, this hormone replacement therapy? Good question. You know, I, I always say treat the patient, not just the number. So mm. I, I use that more of like a monitoring aspect uh, of patient care, but what we do with women, they're very complex. Uh, you got to look at them like, um, almost like a orchestra, an orchestra, all this, all the instruments have to be in sync. Otherwise it doesn't sound good. Yeah. So men are differently. We don't have as many hormones to monitor. So it's more like a smaller rock band, but gotcha. you know, once we get the ladies, you know, everything in balance, we know we're checking their estrogen, their testosterone, their progesterone, their thyroid, DHEA, FSH, all, all these different, uh, you know, uh, hormones that are being, are, are kind of just in sync and working together in the body. We see a lot of decline in this once they hit that menopausal age, I've got some ladies that are like zero and I'm just like, no wonder you feel this way. You're yeah. you have no hormones. Wow. <laughs> no wonder you're depressed. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. And so is the only, you mentioned the delivery method of the pellets. Is there another form uh, or, or method of delivery that you offer in your office? We do a lot of the, we can do the creams, uh, okay. a little bit of the, some ladies do the injections as well. Okay. Uh, most people don't like stick it themselves. Um, I don't like the patches and, uh, the oral, um, the oral estrogens or the oral medication, because sometimes those actually have to go through your liver yep, yep. and theoretically can cause some clotting versus the pellets just go right into your bloodstream bypasses the liver. You don't really have to worry much about the, uh, uh, the clotting aspect of it. Uh, but you know, if you have a history of clotting or cancer, then, you know, we, we probably need to get clearance first from your regular doctor before we initiate hormone therapy on you. But but for most women, it's absolutely life changing. And the pellets, I mean, is that a quick outpatient procedure? You know, you just go into the office. How, like, how long does the procedure take? Once, uh, once you get on the table, I numb you up, put the pellet in, put a couple little band aids on you, if you will. Uh, the entire procedure takes less than five minutes for me. Wow, amazing! Yeah. Is there a lot of downtime? Like after you get the pellets inserted, is there, you know, you got to take a week off? you know, from work or anything, or can they no, go back to normal um, life? Normal activity. The one thing I don't want you doing, because it does kind of go in the upper hip area, maybe near the buttock area, upper in the fat there, is just avoid heavy strenuous exercises for about four or five days. Okay. So I tell the people, no squatting, no cycling. You can do upper body as much as you want, but watch out for doing anything lower body. And the second thing is no submerging in water. So I don't want them taking a bath jacuzzi, oceans, swimming pools, et cetera, for about four or five days as well. You can take a shower. You can do everything, your normal routine. I just don't want to be soaking in any water for about that amount of time. Most ladies have no problems with it. And they say it's worth every, every moment. Yeah. I mean, five days of downtime, that doesn't seem bad at all. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And doc, talk to me about the other services that you offer in your, in your office, because I know it's not just mm-hmm. hormone replacement therapy. You offer a plethora of services that can help people in different areas of their life. 
Talk to me about yeah, that. Yeah, we, we do a lot of the regenerative medicine aspects. So a lot of PRP, if you have mm. bad knees, joints, et cetera. We also use it for hair restoration. I use it today for cosmetics and to help the skin look great again. Uh, we also use it for sexual wellness. We, are, uh, we do a lot of sexual wellness at our office to help ladies restore and men uh, restore their sexual function. Uh, as we know, as we decline, it can be devastating on a person's ego, relationship, et cetera. It's very important that we, we you know, get, get you working again down there if you will. Um, and then we also do a lot of uh, the anti-aging treatments like peptide therapy. Uh, you know, we always hear about HGH, et cetera, and Hollywood going towards HGH and doing all this. It's like the anti-aging um, fountain of youth. youth. Yeah. Yeah. Fountain of youth. Right. But there's other things now that we use that are safer, you know, um, even more affordable uh, things like uh, the peptide therapy that we use that stimulate your body to produce HGH and stimulate your body to produce growth hormone without a lot of the side effects and the cost of, of HGH because a lot of times HGH is cost prohibitive for a lot of people. Uh, but this you can use long-term. It's uh, most people lean out on it and we have different peptides for different things, but uh, to heal the body, heal the gut, just for anti-aging methods, Amazing. et cetera. Amazing. Yeah. And how is, how is the, how are the peptides administered? Two ways. You can either inject them uh, nightly, but we have the technologies kind of evolved a little bit where we actually have the atrocious that you can uh, put under your tongue now and oh, wow. it absorbs right into the bloodstream and you just do it at night before bed. Most people prefer it that way. Um, there's some questions. Is it as effective as the, uh, you know, the injection? Uh -huh. Personally, I think so. I, I mean, we've gotten amazing results with this, especially when you combine it with HRT. Absolutely. Wow, doc. So, I mean, you have so many amazing things going on. Like where can, you mentioned actually, which was really interesting that you work with people virtually as well. So mm -hmm. they don't necessarily have to be in the Los Angeles area and have to come to your office. You can actually work right. with them virtually. Yeah. That's a great thing about technology. Now we can do a zoom meetings like we are doing right now. And uh, I can order blood work. If you're in Florida or, or New York, uh, a lot of patients there that we order blood work, just, you just go to local you know, lab there. We can send the order in, they send it right back to me. We review it. And then we can start you on a program. Now we can't do the pellets obviously, cause I'm not there. Yeah. Uh, however, we can at least get you started on the creams, uh, the injections, et cetera, things that will, you know, substitute in the meantime, it's more of an inconvenience than anything, but you know, it's also life changing at the same time. Amazing. Amazing. So doc, talk to me about how people can find you, you know, if they want to work with you virtually, or if they're in the local area, you know, how can they, uh, you know, set up an appointment with your office? Talk to me about all your social media. Like I want a uh, guy, uh, like I think this is such an important <laughs> part sure. of, of, you know, just your health and really finding out exactly what's going on inside your body where you're able to actually go ahead and treat them the appropriate way from the inside out the way it's supposed to be. Talk to me about yeah. that. Yeah. We, you know, uh, the great thing about social media now is we can, we can find anyone now. So uh, right. I am on Instagram. Uh, we get a lot of uh, inquiries on Instagram. It's my last, it's just literally a Sandra MD. That's my Instagram. At a Sandra MD. Got it. Yep. Or a Sandra MD.com. So that's the best place to look us up. Our number's on there. You can contact us anytime, shoot me an email, shoot me a DM, whatever it is, and we can get you set up and uh, taken care of. Amazing. Amazing. So if you're out there, guys, whether it's in Los Angeles or anywhere else in the country, you could definitely reach out to Dr. Sandra. I can certainly vouch for him. He's an amazing practitioner. He's going to get you on the right path towards your health. So reach out to him, uh, you know, for any of your healthcare needs. Doc, thank you so much for coming on and, uh, you know, just letting us know all this great information that's out there to promote health in, in your patients. Appreciate you. Brian, thank you for having me, man. Thanks, buddy. Take care. Bye-bye.